So for those of you that have the Gen 1 bolt system and you're getting the new upgraded extractor and bolt and ejector, just want to do a quick video of how to install that. You just need a few tools, a uh, 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, uh, a torque wrench if you have one, and inch pounds. Um, some oil is always good to have and some Loctite to re-Loctite some of those bolts. And then your mag is helpful if you have your magazine. Um, <clears throat> first off, make sure your, your firearm is, is cleared and safe. And then you're just going to go ahead and remove your charging handle on your bolt system. There's a lock washer, so be sure that you don't lose that little tiny lock washer as well. You can set that aside. And then you're just going to uh, open up the back button on your firearm. It's under spring pressure, so before you press it all the way down and release it slowly, you can pull it out the back and remove your spring. At that point, you can grab your bolt and it'll slide all the way out the back. And that's your old bolt system. All that we ask is that you, uh, after you remove your old bolt, we'll send you a return label for that and you can send it back to us. Uh, with your new bolt, we'll send you the return label. So then you grab your new, new bolt, so it'll be already assembled with the extractor in it. Just simply slide it back in the back, give it a little push there, and then your spring, and then your back button can go back in there. And then close it back up, and then reinstall your charging handle. Again, make sure you have your little lock washer go on the end there. And if you have some Loctite, add a little Loctite, blue, blue Loctite to the end there. And then you can tighten that down. And then we recommend tightening it to 25 inch pounds. Tighten that. So that's for your bolt. <clears throat> With the new system, we also have to change out the ejector. Um, so in your mag catch system, there's only two bolts right here on the side. And you're going to remove those. Again, those are 530 seconds. Remove each bolt. And when you take this out, there's a spring in there. So be sure that you, you, you pinch it together and keep it together until you can set it on its side and then slowly lift up on the top piece. And that reveals, reveals your spring. So that's the piece there. You can ship back to us with your old bolt and then we'll provide you with a new one. You're gonna simply, you can add some oil here. It's a good time to add oil if you need it um, in this system here. And then be sure your spring is in there. If you lose your spring or anything like that, you can reach out to us, but your spring will load in, um, put the, that top side in, and then you have a small tab here on the bottom that has to go on the bottom side of that spring and it just inserts down like that. And you can, you can tell that your spring is engaged at that point. And then you're just gonna install that back in your two bolts add a little blue loctite to them D don't go crazy with the blue loctite um, if you get too much in there it'll ooze out into that uh, ejector piece and then you your uh, bolt stop will stop working so if, you, if it ever stops working that's probably why just hand tighten these for now and this is where your mag comes in handy if you have your mag you can insert your mag <coughs> all the way that helps position your mag catch so that your, your mag isn't off-centered or anything like that. And then you can tighten them down. And again, if you have your uh, torque wrench, 25 inch pounds with the lock tight. And that's it. Make sure that your mag's still fitting well. If there's any adjustments to be needed, you can loosen those back up and play with that adjustment a little bit, but it should be good. So uh, then with the return label, if you want to just go ahead and put these back in the box that we shipped your new bolt with, ship them back to us and we'll take care of the rest of it.